A good Monday afternoon, everybody. Um, August 31st, last day of the month. So, uh, went to sleep this morning and got home from work, and uh, I sleep real good. Never do on Mondays, though. I think I've said that before. And, uh, I got to drop off a couple chainsaws and uh, three bars and about six chains. So, getting these all sharpened up. The bars were... Now, this, this bar right here was in pretty good shape. I don't think it's been used much, but... The other ones... The black one wasn't bad. They were the big bar for this pooling, but he's got a little steel saw. And that bar was in rough shape. I had, to, I had to do a lot of work to the bar to get that straightened out. Um... Lots of burrs, big ditch down the middle of it. Had to take quite a bit off the bar to get it back true. And uh, burrs off the edges of it. Closed the rails back up. Basically a complete tune-up for a chainsaw bar. The roller tip seemed good though, so we're good with that. So yeah. So this is the last chain of the bunch. I did most of them yesterday. I did all the rest of them yesterday. It got to be last night and I had enough. So went in and relaxed before I went to work. First night back. So went in and relaxed a little bit. Tried to sleep, but that didn't work. Never does. These teeth are about gone. He's going to have to invest in some new chains here pretty quick. A couple of them, I'm going to tell them, you know, they're so small that you get into some good hard wood and they are going to break. I took them out back and tested them in some uh, maple that I got out back here, but you get into some hard oak or something stringy, like some cottonwood or something like that. Sycamore, you'll start snapping teeth off. That's how small they are. And there are these anti kickback, low kickback chains, too, which be pain in the butt to do. The raker gauges, excuse my French there. So, yeah, we just. Uh, Filing away. Hope everybody else is doing good. It's coming weekend, big holiday weekend, Memorial Day. Actually gonna go to Cleveland and see the grandbabies. That'll be good. Some of these teeth on this chain are hard. Some of them file real easy. This one here is a hard one. Just doesn't want to file. I don't know what kind of chain it is. That's a pooling chain. I don't know where they source their chains from, but I mean, you can hear that. It's not even file's not even wanting to dig in. Pretty big burr there. Granted, this file's not the sharpest, but there we go. Got pushed a little harder. Like most things in life, don't work. Push a little harder. It's not coming off. So yeah, we got fire department meeting tonight, training night tonight. So actually changed changed the schedule and what we're 
doing. I don't like the bird just fell off of it. So I guess we're gonna flow some water. Let's spray some water. Move some trucks, lay some hose out, so I don't like the way that one fell. And that's all the way around. All right. This is the style raker gauge I prefer to use because this one hooks over one tooth. It does, it goes in behind the tooth and it lays on the tooth that you're filing the raker for. So regardless of what this tooth height is and this tooth height is, this raker will get filed to this tooth because you're not on top of that one. But with this anti-low kickback chain, you can't use that style. So then you go to this one, which rides on this tooth and this tooth, so you're not getting a true reading. And the problem with these things is you can see let me see if I can get it to go. You file across there and you end up filing your gauge. There you go. You can see you end up filing your gauge thinner. So I'll lay it on there. I'll lay it on there and get a feel for it. And then file it. Put it back on there. A little bit more. There we go. So anyway, got a whole bunch of them to go, and then I'll be done. So I'll take these up. Guys, actually firemen, so I'll take them back up with me tonight. And maybe we'll catch up with you up there. I'll uh, do some filming while we're up there. We'll talk to you later. All right, here's what we got going on. We played around with our uh, jet siphon. Testing one, two, one, two. Uh, watch your mouth, Eric. Thank you. No. Bye. So we got a Y coming off the back of the truck, feeding the two nozzles. This line here is the one that's going to the jet siphon. So we've got a crew of guys, they've made about four passes down these bleachers, cleaning them all off. And we have an aerial spectator, Jerry Fork, it's a pair of plane. But yeah, the buzzards sit up here and uh, defecate. Actually, if you look in that tree, right there, there's a dead tree. I know you can't see them, but there's about 10 buzzards over there sitting. And they roost on this fence and stuff. And they poop and regurgitate and make a mess. So we're down here cleaning these off because they're going to have some kind of an orientation out here tomorrow school is so we're doing a little water training we've had a few different operators on the uh, truck and uh, we've had numerous numerous guys on the hose lines running nozzles so yeah pretty good time that's what we like to do flow some water And doing a little, a little good for the school. So I was over there checking out the uh, irrigator. Let me see if I can get it in there. Yeah, we got a sprinkler system for the football field. I need one of them just a little bit bigger. Of course, then I got to have a well and uh, some way to pump it. So anyway, this has been Monday night. 
So, time to get busy tearing everything down. We'll talk at you later. All right, got the portable pond put back in G3. I was kind of busy, so I didn't get a chance to video any of it. Buck's getting his wheel chocks put away. He'll do his 360. Steve doing his 360. G5's got all the old wet hose in it. So that's going back to the station. G2's over there. Along with Clifford. My ride. There goes the Chief. So yeah. We're uh, done out here. We're gonna head back up to the station. Mr. Lieutenant Matt Brown. Oh, hey guys. How's it going? <laughs> Time to get out of here. Time to get out of here. All right. So let's get out of here and go have fun. I gotta get out of here and go to work. Yeah. Oh well. It's the life I choose. Well, what's going on here? Bunch of hooligans. Bunch of hooligans. Bunch of hooligans. Mauling around my truck. It's all good. All right, see you back to the station. All right, everything's back in the barn except three. We got the high rise pack, three pack for this truck. I think I hear three coming. It's got a very distinctive sound. Yep, there she is. Big girl. V6 Detroit, 350 horsepower, 6V92 with a four-speed Allison automatic drive. What do you think, Mr. Burmeister? Beautiful night. That it is. Mr. Fode again. So yeah, we got all the trucks back in, everything ready to go. Help this guy get her backed in and we'll go from there. All right, there they all are. Yeah. Lieutenant Dan. Yes, sir. Hey. Lieutenant Dan actually used to own this truck. We purchased it from him. So, yeah. Beautiful night, even though I'm sweating, tearing stuff apart, getting things packed up, but good training, good training. We'll catch up with you later. Thanks for watching, everybody.